Hey Leo! Welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Much appreciated. Oh, I just saw a, a card that doesn't belong in this deck. Oh, sneaky little sucker. I have I have already shuffled the heck out of them and never noticed that. Can you believe it? Let's see if there's any more. No. Okay. So, so sorry, guys. Anyway, Leo. Okay, we're doing past, present, future. We're also, the present time is going to represent this upcoming week, so that that's going to be our weekly readings as well. So, we're going to look at the past for each you and your partner and the vibe between you two as well in the past in the present which will be from now till the end of or no from now till november 23rd uh then the future okay so let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good we're ready for that leo reading we're ready to see um what's going on between leo and their person what happened in the past? What's going to happen in the future? And what's happening right now? From now till the 23rd is going to be the focus for the present energy. The 23rd of November, 2019. Of course, the past energy will be the past. And the future energy will be the future. For Leo and their person. Okay, so what about Leo? What's their feelings and thoughts and their energy about the past with their person? go. All right. Oh, you got three. Okay. All right. What about Leo's person? What is their energy and thoughts and feelings about the past? Leo's person. Leo's person. There we go. What is the energy between Leo and their person? The two of them together as a unit. What is the energy between the two of them together in the past? What was their energy in the past like together? Oh, okay then. I see. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, what about the present? What is Leo's energy? <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, what is Leo's energy, thoughts, and feelings about their person at this present time from now till November 23rd, 2019? Hmm, interesting. This almost came out as a challenge, but it was more in the reverse. All right, let's go with... What about their person? Same question. What about their person's feelings, thoughts, and energy about this relationship at this present time? Leo's person. Can I get one more, please? Leo's person. Present energy about... Okay. guys are getting a lot of cards here. All right, what about their energy together at this present time? Leo and their person. What's their energy combined together as a unit? Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that energy. The magician and the hermit. Look at the hermit shining the light on the magician manifesting. That's gorgeous. Wow, I can see you're coming out of all the negative stuff as well. All right, let's go with the future. What about the future for Leos? What are their thoughts, feelings, and energy about the future in this relationship? What are Leos' thoughts, feelings, and energy about the future of this relationship? Leo. One more, please, for Leos' energy about the future in this relationship. Leo. Here we go. That's 
nice. How about Leo's partner? Same question. Future. Leo's partner, their person. Wow. Okay, one more, please, for Leo's person and their thoughts and feelings about the future. Okay, wow. All right, how about together? What are their combined thoughts, feelings, and energy together about the future? Wow. Your reading's pretty interesting, Leo, and look at this. Strength card, bottom of the deck. That's you, Leo. Look at you. Wow, amazing. All right, right under that, Ace of Wands in reverse. All right, so let's get into it here. Leo, <clears throat> I am sorry if you guys hear noises. It's my monitor. I have to have it on so I can hear when my Wi-Fi guy gets here to fix my bandwidth. Every time, every night now, I guess, because it's the holidays, when people get off work, there's no bandwidth left to use to get videos out to you guys. So they're coming to fix the problem. Anyway, we have here the Knight of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Death card in the reverse. You guys know, anybody who watches my channel knows, I can't stand the Death card in reverse. I'd way rather have it in the upright. Um, because it is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Because it transforms situations that really needed to transform. Or to end stuff that really needed to end. But it's in reverse, but it's in the past. So so you have an energy on your side, Leo, of it's a clingy energy with the death card in reverse, something that was clinging on. Now, we do have here the Knight of Cups, really nice. I feel like you came in for some kind of offer or someone came into you with some kind of offer, but it was a little bit confusing. This particular Seven of Pentacles has to do with this innocent child here and somebody's like, confusing him and causing illusions around him so I do feel like um, someone offered you something but or you offered them something but it just left you confused and feeling stuck now for your partner your partner is coming through high priestess right I mean that's some pretty spiritual energy here. Your person could be a Cancer or a Pisces or I sometimes see the High Priestess as an Aquarius. Um, doesn't have to be, obviously. Anybody could be feeling like the High Priestess isn't coming through in that energy. And the world reverse. So this person is manifesting the end of a cycle in a good way. They want to complete a big, big cycle. This would be really great energy, High Priestess in the world. The world's in reverse right now. So this person's working. See how they're like literally this clenched working with the universe, really working with the universe to bring about um, some kind of completion in a big cycle in their life. So your person's busy working with the universe. Um, you came in, I feel like you came in with an offer, but you were confused. And this person was off doing their own thing, working with the universe. And it left you kind of confused. Together, the combined energy between the two of you is there is some kind of third party here. So someone interfered in this relationship. Look, the bride's holding a dagger. But someone interfered with your relationship here, some kind of third party. Um, and I feel like one of you wants to bring a give and take into this relationship or doesn't feel like there's a give and take because there's an, like this is an equal Three's a crowd, right? Three's not an equal number. It's an odd number. So I feel like the Six of Pentacles has come through here to say, you know, the truth is one of you was looking for balance and the other one brought in um, an odd number, which is not balanced. All right, that's the energy between the two of you. So which one of you is which, I'm not sure, because neither one of these sides look bad. Um, you know, if I had seen the Knight of Cups in reverse, I'd think there was insincerity. I'm not seeing insincerity. What I'm seeing is somebody that interfered in whatever way. It doesn't have to be love. It can be an in-law, you know, a, one of your kids, your sister-in-law, their brother-in-law. You know, it could be anybody, anybody. Friend, work, anything could interfere. So, some kind of interference knocked the balance off in this relationship. And three's a crowd, right? So, that's the energy between the two of you. Or was in the past. 
Now, coming into the future time, we have you, Leo, looking mighty amazing with your card. I love this sun card. So, both of your major arcana cards showed up for you. The strength card and the sun. Beautiful. We have here knight of pentacles. And when the knight of pentacles is reversed, which it came out reversed, this knight is moving so painfully slow that it's almost not moving at all. And someone feels betrayed about that. Someone feels like they were betrayed because this is moving along much too slowly. All right, but it's being cleared up. You know, I mean, it's possible that um, the light has been shown on the fact that someone's not really moving forward and that felt like betrayal. All right, now your person over here, they aren't working on it. You're right, they're not moving forward. That's why you felt betrayed. Eight of Pentacles, they weren't working on it. They're coming out of something else. Um, five of Wands, could have been with you. They're coming out of bickering. They're coming out of fighting. They don't want to be a part of it. And Five of Pentacles. This is someone who has um, been not... This person doesn't have much, but they enjoy what God has given them. So, as much as this person doesn't have a whole lot to show, you know, materially, materially, they have an inner peace about them and they enjoy the beauty of... Um, of our beautiful earth. So this is like not a really harsh five of pentacles like in other decks. But this person doesn't want to work on things because they do not want to fight. And they're really chilled out. This is like a really chilled person that doesn't like drama. Um, now, I'm not saying that you're full of drama. But the fact that they're so chilled, I think, is making you angry. Is making you feel like, you know, betrayed because they're not moving forward, because they're working on something. I really feel like they're working on something here. I mean, these are really cards of really working at one with the universe. This one, she looks like she's meditating. This one, she is literally creating. And again, this, as soon as I saw this, I'm like, wow, that is somebody powerful. Somebody manifesting and working with the universe. I think your person is... Um, your person's a sage. <laughs> That's what I think. Um, anyway, but this has left you angry. It's like, you're so busy saging out over here, you're not investing in the relationship. And it's, I feel like it's pissed you off, virtually. All right, so now the energy between you two is really nice. Look at it. The Virgo and the Virgo or Gemini, right? So we have um, the Hermit and the Magician. These are cards of Virgo. So that you could both be Virgo. You could be Gemini, one of you. Um, you know, I mean, to have it somewhere in your chart. I mean, obviously, I know you're Leo, but you know what I mean. Um, but two major arcanas right in the middle of your reading, and they're big. Magi magician and the Hermit are no joke. They're big time. They're big cards. All right, so we have someone who's literally working with the universe here. Now, that came out in the energy between the both of you. Are you also working with the universe? And maybe you don't realize it. Maybe you're not into this, but you're somehow involved in their energy. This I feel like this is totally their energy. Their energy is totally this right here. Now... Um, could it be flip-flop? Sure. If this whole reading is flip-flop, flip it. If it works for you the other way around. But one of you has a very sagey, manifesty way about you where you can just kind of like snap your fingers and manifest what you want. And one of you is very busy doing some kind of spiritual work over here. Now, um, again, your energy together is also very spiritual nice okay so that's what's going on in the present time you're feeling a bit upset about what they're doing and what they're doing really is their own thing um i don't feel like it has anything to do with you yes if you wanted to go at it and fight and argue they're not having it because they're in their little world that's the only part of this that could possibly be about you otherwise they're doing their own thing all right now 
in the future, we have here for you beautiful energy. Four of Wands and Two of Swords reversed. This is a decision about your home and family. Really nice. Bringing in that peace and that happiness and that balanced home life. Family life and love life. Really nice. So you're making some kind of a decision in the future about this. And they are over here getting that that wheel to turn. Remember I told you they wanted to have that they wanted to have this big um, graduation from a big cycle. That's what they're working on with the universe, closing out a cycle. They're getting it. The wheel's coming in here. This new beginning's coming. So they are definitely going to turn the wheel. The old cycle's going to close and a new cycle's coming in. The only thing is their two of cups is reversed. So this is some kind of a partnership. It could be about you and them. For them, this is reversed. They're closing out a big cycle. They're bringing in a new one. And the energy between you guys is really nice, too. The Emperor and the Page of Cups. This is someone taking control of a situation and possibly apologizing or possibly coming in with that offer. Now, this is energy between the two of you. Now, I want to see why their Two of Cups is reversed here. It's the only thing I really have to... Um, I really want to look into here. Everything else very self-explanatory, but... Um, you know, with the Two of Cups reversed, I'm just curious to what's going on here. So, uh, hold on one second, guys. Okay. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please help me clarify this reading for Leo. For Leo, I just want to see why their partner, Two of Cups, is reversed here. Why is it reversed? Why is Leo's partner's Two of Cups reversed for the future, for their feelings and thoughts and energy about the future of this relationship? Why is Leo's partner's Two of Cups reversed? Oh my lord! That's amazing. Look at that. The Sun and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. This is what this person's been working on. Well, you're involved, Leo. Look, that's your card, the Sun. I think this person is working on a new beginning, but they're doing it in a way with the universe. They're working on it with the universe. And it's leaving you feeling like, what the hell? <laughs> Why are you ignoring me? Well, I'm busy creating. I'm busy being the magician and the hermit and the high priest is all wrapped up into one. <laughs> and I can turn the five and pentacles into a good card when it usually sucks. <laughs> I think your person's a, a freaking sage. I really do, Leo. I do feel as though, wow, I feel as though this person is they are literally manifesting happiness and stability into their life. They're, they're doing it themselves. They are turning their own wheel. They're working with the universe. And they're literally manifesting this in. They really kind of don't even have time for a relationship. I hate to say that. But in the long run, like I said, you are the sun card. You're Leo. I mean, in the long run, they probably have you in mind. And look, someone's taken action to come in to make an offer or an apology here for whatever's going on here. I really don't think this is an ugly reading at all. I feel like you have some sage-like person in your life who's really busy doing stuff. I feel as though you're a little bit distraught about it, feeling like, what the hell are they doing? And um, I do feel like it's all fine. The only concern that I really had, and we might clarify it too, was this third party up here. You know, and that might be a problem. I mean, if you're somebody in your life caused an issue, this person is the type that would take off. They'd be like, nope, not working on that. I don't want no parts of that. You know, so you got to keep in mind, if this person knows about a third party or something, they're not going to, they just are not the type of person that would get involved with that. Now, do I... Oh, shoot. I had already shuffled these, but that's okay. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? I want to clarify this, uh, the lover's card, because the lover's card in this deck is all about third party. 
Why is this lover's card here in the past for the energy between Leo and their person? Why is this particular third party lover's card here in the past for Leo? Oops, too many. Eight of Swords was right on top there too. For Leo and their person's energy combined together for the past. Why is that lover's card there? Sheesh, I can't get just one or two cards for you. I'm so sorry. Like clumps are falling out. I need just one or two cards to tell us why the lover's card is here. Why it was here for the past with the for the energy of the past energy between Leo and their partner. Why is that lover's card here? Somebody was holding on to a karmic. All right, so the third party is a karmic. Somebody was holding on, stuck, like in a bad, toxic way to a karmic. The third person's a karmic. All right, so this past energy was all about someone who was holding on to this karmic relationship. And I feel like... Oh, wow. All right, I want one more on that. Give me one on the devil and the four of pentacles. Why is the devil and the four of pentacles here? Devil, four of pentacles. The page of pentacles. Yeah, okay, so the page of pentacles is here too. This is a practical offer. This could be an offer of friendship. This can be an offer of something very um, practical. Cup of coffee, let's go out for a drink, you know, something like that. Let me find out more about this. Why is the devil and the four of pentacles here as the combined past energy? Whoa. All right. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. You're not going to believe this. Look at the Queen of Pentacles pushing away that energy. Like, no, thank you. I feel like that's this person over here. Now, could be, you know, the other way around. But someone, there was an offer here. And look at the Queen of Pentacles. She's like, no, no, thank you. Now, this page is usually just a very practical offer or something very light and friendly. Why is the, um... Page of Pentacles here, please, with the Queen of Pentacles. Why? For the past energy between Leo and their person. Oh my gosh, really? We have another page, Page of Cups. And the Emperor. Someone took control and tried to make an offer here. And this Queen of Pentacles is like, nope. All right, now, because I feel as though the Queen of Pentacles, whoever, whichever side of this you're on, the female side of this, I feel is the one that realized there was, it was karmic. It was karmic. Okay, so one of the two of you, male or female, put yourself in whatever place you belong. Realize that this was a karmic offer and that they're, they, they would be stepping into a third party. And I feel that's why one of you felt a bit betrayed. And one of you felt like I'm not getting involved. Um, you know, because each of you, if you're male or female, could be on the opposite side of this, I'm sure. But down here we have the one person really working on manifesting in security and happiness. And the other one is making a decision to bring happiness and stability and peace into their life and the combined energy is taking control with the emperor here and making some kind of an offer or an apology here and again smack dab in the middle of your reading there is like definitely work being done with the universe here on this whole subject this is an interesting reading probably the most detailed most in-depth reading i've had out of all of them i feel 
um, when just having that four of pentacles and that devil pop out to explain why the, the third party lovers card showed up. It's like, whoa, wow, somebody was holding on to their karmic. All right, so someone's having a hard time getting rid of a karmic, at least they were. All right, let's get um, some after tarot on this situation. Spirit and angels, anyone, you know, I have to say the future looks amazing. I mean, it does. Like you've got this little, whoever, whichever one of you is this sage person over here working with the universe to bring in all your hopes, wishes, and dreams, happiness, and stability, and turning that wheel and getting a brand new cycle. We have somebody here coming in with an offer and, and or an apology. We have somebody over here who's focused on home and family and making sure that there's... That it's stable and beautiful. I mean, whatever happened here, it's like there was a turnaround of some sort. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Not that it was ever horribly ugly. I think in the past, somebody just was stuck in a karmic relationship. And it might be the way that this relationship came about was under the heels of somebody one of the two people being stuck in some kind of karmic ugliness maybe both anyway so that's not never a great way to start out a relationship right so spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what comes next for leo in this situation the after tarot is intended to be for you leo unless it's for both of you but if it's for a singular person it's your after tarot okay um I know that the future cards are sort of like after tarot. So this is kind of like after after tarot. So Leo, what does Leo need to know about what comes next in this situation? What comes, whoop, nope, they did not come out the right way. What comes next in the situation for Leo, please? What comes next here for Leo? beautiful oh my god that's beautiful give me one more please one more for leo that is lovely i have to say that's way too many just one more card please for leo just one if i can't get one i'll just put them away okay well we got two all right well here's your <laughs> your little battle Somebody is needing to um, see their way through a decision. I am so sorry for that noise, guys. I have to have that monitor on in case the man comes. Um, somebody's trying to see their way through a decision that needs to be made here. Also, we have um, someone who's going to fight for the rights. If someone feels attacked, they're going to be like on it, okay? So if there is some kind of argument or some kind of need to fight for your rights you're going to do so if not you someone else here you are leo if you're a leo man you're coming out looking pretty damn good if you're a leo woman i have to say this can be two leos because look i mean you both have the sun here there is um you know a couple indications here that there could be two leos or two fire signs at the very least we did have the emperor show up a couple times um you do you have multiple signs i mean it's almost like everybody's here really but anyway we have here happy home happy family which is exactly what you leo were striving for right there we go your happy home happy family it's what you wanted justice balance everything working out for the highest good and your person over here is like really working for this happiness and stability as well and to get closure on a cycle and have a new one start really nice i have to say your reading's really nice the stuff that happened in this past and everything was kind of stupid i think it all stems from some one of you coming into the relationship with a karmic attached to you all right um let's look at <clears throat> Let's look at angel cards. What kind of angel advice do you have for Leo, please? One more, please. Oh, wow. Trust the process. You guys know when I see the trust card, it means to trust the process. Can you see it? Trust. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. My cable guy's here. Also, flexibility and also healing. And have a great day, guys. Bye. 
So I don't know if you guys are still there, Leo, but <laughs> I had to cut out of here super quick because my Wi-Fi guy was here. Anyway, but your final, your final little angel cards were healing. They were trust, and you know how I feel about trust. Trust that process and flexibility. Really nice, guys. Your reading was great. I It was so long ago. I know it was only like a split second for you guys, but for me, it was a really long time ago. But apply these where they belong in your reading because I don't remember where we left off, honestly, because I had to hightail it out of here. Usually, I get a call saying I'm on my way. I didn't get that call. I just got the call earlier that said... <clears throat> To, that reminded me that I had an appointment but normally the tech will call on their way well this tech didn't call so I got cut off right in the middle of your reading so trust the process be flexible and do that healing work I mean like I think we were talking about was your person definitely is doing some kind of work over here some voodoo magic I think and you know you guys are, are working with the universe i think so just be flexible continue your healing and trust the process okay guys please like share subscribe comment down below let me know if this resonated with you i'm gonna watch it again because i don't remember where we left off talk to you guys soon bye